An Oceanside High School basketball coach charged with the rape of a student at the school is also under investigation on another complaint involving a student at a high school in Escondido. News reporter Steve Fiorina is live at the county courthouse in Vista with a look at how the investigation of Corey Hogue is widening. Steve? Steve, there were about a dozen people who came to the courthouse today in support of Hoag, sitting in the courtroom as the DA dropped that bombshell about a possible second alleged victim. A somber Corey Hoag stood before the judge as the DA and his defense attorney argued over bail. His attorney saying there's no evidence of sex with a minor. These allegations have been brought by one 17-year-old teenager against an extremely well-respected teacher. But the DA told of a taped phone call to the victim. Told the victim in a pretextual phone call that was recorded that she's got to lie. She's got to say nothing, nothing, nothing at all. Um, and even was arrested on his way to her house to talk to her in person. His attorney read off the names of almost a dozen influential people from Oceanside in the courtroom in his support. But there was more from the prosecutor. The investigation has widened, going back to his days at Orange Glen High School in Escondido before moving to Oceanside High in 06. We are looking into a, another victim from 2005 when the defendant was a teacher at another high school. Judge Marshall Hockett said Hogue is a threat to the community. He set bail at $100,000 and issued a criminal protective order that Hogue have no contact with the victim, not go within 100 yards of her, the school, her home. Afterward, his attorney lamented about teaching now being one of the most hazardous jobs there can be. You can be teaching thousand students and one disgruntled teenager, one teenager with mental health issues, just one, can ruin your entire life. Hogue's family and friends wouldn't speak on camera, but told us as they left, they're 100 percent behind him. Now, Hogue faces three felony counts and two misdemeanor counts. His preliminary hearing is scheduled for January. Live in Vista, Steve Fiorina, 10 News.